Hi everyone, I'm Andrea Ritter here with the fabulous Peter Hansen. How's it going? Hey, it's going great. Thanks for having me. Wonderful. So I'm excited because we're gonna we're doing a little um, end of year wrap up. Let's talk about IB. Where where are we and where are we going? Super excited that we made um, you know a recommitment to IB this year as a district. Um, we've really put a lot of energy behind being the best that we can at being an IB district and kind of what that means, um, not only for you know students, but also for teachers. We've had a really great year with um, making some progress as far as things like putting priorities in place. You know, what we found in a lot of our work this year is that we need to bring more parents and community members in. So that was one of our strategic goals was communication. So we've really started working on communication that focuses on getting all of our stakeholders um, included and knowledgeable about the IB program um, so that we know that uh, all parents, all community members really know why we are an international baccalaureate district and how, and how many programs we have. Um, that's one of the things that we found. The other thing that um, we made a lot of progress on this year was professional development for teachers. Um, we know that one of the best things we can do for teachers is support them you know, in resources and in training and we really put a lot more um, funding and availability into training this year. So uh, that was a huge part for us this year. Um, um, and we really focused on some exciting new positions that we have that will support teachers and schools and students and parents uh, in the International Baccalaureate program. I love it. So can you share, um, because we talked the last time, but can you give us like the, the short on, you know, what IB is? Mm -hmm. Eight of our nine schools are IB and have been since 2011. Mm -hmm. Like we are IB. You are IB, everybody, everyone, except for Snowy Peaks, and they are wonderful and doing their own thing. However, this is, this is in, the, in the DNA of Summit School District. Absolutely, it has been for a long time. So we started out, and I think um, something that a lot, of, a lot of parents and a lot of community stakeholders don't know, is that we actually, we are an IB district, which means that we, ha we have three different IB programs. Um, our first IB program is called the PYP. And the PYP really goes from preschool to fifth grade. So that's our, our ele elementary experience. And all of the district um, preschoolers through fifth graders are IB students. So all of our elementary schools are actually IB. And the focus of the PYP program, the PYP International Baccalaureate program, is really helping students understand that they have power and agency and um, action in their lives. You know, oftentimes we think about, you know, preschoolers through fifth graders as just, you know, kids that um, are just going through school. And the whole focus of PYP, the primary years program in the IB program, is helping students understand that they have power, they have action. And we do that through many different um, through many different avenues. You know, the first really is um, our approaches to teaching. So the way that teachers present topics and knowledge and skills to students is really based on inquiry, you know, students being able to ask questions, which is how we know that students are learning and how they get to deeper learning, asking questions. Um, another approach to teaching is collaboration, where we want students to be really co-constructing knowledge and getting deeper with that with other kids because that's really a way to help students understand better and deeper too is help students understand that together instead of just the teacher mm -hmm. you know so the teacher is really facilitating students asking questions working together um, another um, approach to teaching that the IB PYP or primary years program has is global context you know so we know we're a really diverse community and in our graduate profile we talk about kids being world be, you know, having um, an action focus um, and a global context really means that we're engaging with not only just our local community but the world around us. Yeah. And we know that Summit County is such a diverse and wonderful place. That's really, this is a natural place to do that. Um, and so, you know, really having that inquiry focus so students are asking questions. Really thinking about collaboration so students can learn how to work with each other but also learn deeper through co-experiences. Mm -hmm. um, and then a global context is really awesome. Um, the other thing that we focus on is conceptual teaching, which is really talking about like the higher level kind of scopes of knowledge. Like it's not just about, um, it's not just about, um, uh, 
small concepts like um, you know mining. It's about like global concepts like change or connection. Mm -hmm. You know, and really really looking at like the concepts of learning so that students can see the spiral of knowledge throughout their K-5 and even K-12 career. So really excited about like the, the, the PYP takes that oftentimes like um, teacher driven experience that we had maybe in elementary school to student driven. And that's our approaches to teaching that help us do that. And there's a lot of different ways that the PYP primary years program focuses that learning so that students have power and agency and really learn deeper. The second program that we have is the middle years program or the MYP program. That goes from um, sixth grade to 10th grade. So students are actually all, and all of our 6th through 10th graders are MYP or Middle Years Program students. Um, they, and the Middle Years Program is really focused on getting outside of the walls of the school. Um, so, you know, they go from that like we have power in this place and over our learning to like now we're going to start to expand that and see how we can engage and impact our communities. So you'll see things at the middle school um, and at the high school of, like design classes, which is something I never had in middle school, you know, and so they're really focused on like how can we design for others, how can we solve world problems. Um, the middle school actually just got done with an affairs, uh, the World Affairs Challenge, which was an eighth grade project where students actually competed against a worldwide um, com uh, contestant focus, I guess, or, or comp competition. And they actually got in this world affairs competition that's, that's uh, really focused on the UN's goals for a sustainable planet. One of our teams got first overall in their um, age bracket uh, in, this global, in this global competition. Um, and then they got second overall. So that's, that's an opportunity that crazy. like, yeah, it's an opportunity that kids probably wouldn't have in a lot of schools yeah. that weren't focusing on getting outside, showing that power and impacting the planet. And the winning team was really focused on composting, um, not just like the idea of composting, but putting composting in the middle in high school. And they're gonna get to do that, which is pretty cool. That is so cool. Yeah. You'll see more about that next year, hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then our final, um, and the one that students opt into is the diploma program, the DP program as it's known. And that's really focused on high rigor, um, but also in, in preparing. You know, some of our students that graduate with in the DP program or diploma program go with their entire first year taken care of in regards to college. It's wow. worldwide. It's um, really well respected through a lot of colleges, um, and it really has. It really gives that opportunity for students to not only be high achieving, but also. Um, you know, take care of some of that college expense because the program is so respected. But they also have great other classes that are, again, are like, they're not normal, like theory of knowledge that's really focused on students um, knowing how they think and how other people think and really becoming part of a community through understanding of how we think and how we understand things, which I think is just super cool. It's so cool. I. I'm so impressed with IB because what it's allowing, I guess it allows our system to, to evolve with our kids evolving. Like these kids are brilliant mm. and they're operating at a whole different level. And so like just the foundation of IB and, and these key pieces um, that you're talking about allows us as educators, I'm not an educator, I'm a marketer, but um, it allows all of you <laughs> as educators to rise to the occasion to where the kids are now because the kids are leading, you know, they're in partnership with, with, with our teachers mm. and, and our staff to, to really learn, you know, from where they come from now. Totally. It's so cool. I mean, you hit it right in the head. That's the goal. And, and that's why I'm so proud that we are one of the few um, IB full districts in the nation um, because we've made that commitment and we believe in the power of students and I think the grad profile speaks to that you know the grad profile was really made by our students they said they want to be growth minded and they want to be um, courageous and and 
We need to provide them the experiences to do that. And a classical classroom that's sit and get doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. But an IB classroom definitely does that because teachers become facilitators of learning, right? Right. And it's definitely not something that's easy to do for teachers. This right. is master level stuff, right? So the support that they need is super important from the community, from the district, you know, from each other. And that's part of the IB uh, framework as well. It just for families to really understand the IB process um, and, and, and how your kids are learning and how they're sharing. I feel like that's like great for parenting just to know like just how their minds are working mm. so that we can meet them there versus like, oh, this person's asking me 700 questions before seven o'clock in the morning. Well, it might be because we're like we are training them to be inquirers mm. and to and, and to live collaboratively with us. And so this this is a good parenting tip for me. Thank you very much. You've really enlightened me on that front. Yeah, my pleasure. So uh, well, <laughs> where are we going? You, you hit it right on the head. So our next year, our focuses really are on supporting teachers through professional development and, and colleagues that are experts and who are um, supported well. Um, and that's something that we're we're really working on through new positions, some new a couple new positions at our schools um, that can help staff develop, can help principals develop, and can help our programs be better implemented. Um, we're also really focusing on making that connection with our stakeholders, with our parents, with our community, through not only you know just messaging, but also through, also through engagement. How can we engage with the community in this work? So what we're hoping um, is next year that the that the, the word about IB and how people can get engaged and why we do it will be um, just strong for all of our stakeholders, for our students, for our parents, for our community members, um, for our teachers, and that's a really big goal for us. So um, that's really what we're focusing on next year, is really getting the word out, engaging the community, um, supporting parents, um, and training and supporting our teachers. Awesome. Well, you are doing a great job. We're really lucky to have you and you. the insane amount of knowledge you have. So if anyone has questions about that process, certainly at your building level, your, your, um, your leadership there, like those are your folks, but Peter, he's got it going on and you can find him, um, online. So absolutely. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you.